I think it'll be helpful to start talking about the actual word longevity because it can mean different things to different people. So when you talk about longevity, are you talking about living forever or how are you defining it? Uh, definitely not living forever, although uh, understandably that's probably what some people think of when they think of longevity. I'm talking about it in terms of two things. Um, one of them is called lifespan and the other is called health span. And lifespan is the part that I think most people think of. It's the how long you live part. Um, but then there's health span, which is the how well you live part. And both of these things are important. Um, I would argue that they're of equal importance and uh, an extreme of one without the other is not ideal. In other words, I don't think there's anybody sitting here who says, I'd love to live to 100, but I want to spend the last 20 of those years unable to move. I mean, that wouldn't be ideal. Um, and similarly, I think the idea of living an amazing, healthy life, but that life being cut short prematurely at 50, uh, nobody would think that that's ideal. So when, when I think of longevity, what I'm really thinking about is maximizing both the length of life and the quality of life. And again, quality could be further broken down into sort of a physical piece. So, you know, Am I free of pain most of the time? And am I able to physically do the things I enjoy doing? And, and that could range from just the activities of daily living and self-care to recreational activities. If you like to garden, how long do you want to be able to do that? If you play golf, if you like to go for walks and hikes or swim. Um, and then there's a cognitive piece. So I don't think anybody would fully expect even at my age, that my brain is kind of as sharp as hers is, but I still want to believe that my mind is pretty sharp. And I think we all sort of want that for as long as possible. And then the final piece is sort of an emotional piece that deals with happiness, sense of purpose, connection to others. And again, you can imagine a scenario where somebody has perfect physical health span, meaning they can do anything they want to do physically. Their brain is sharp but they have no friends and no relationships. And I think we would all agree that that's also, that's not really an ideal life. And I don't think anybody would aspire to that. So that's a lot there. But it, it, when you put all those things together, to me, that's what longevity is. And if some people here are wondering, is it too late to start caring about longevity and living longer? What would you say to them? Um, I would say that that's not the case. Um, I, I, I would say that, um, on the one hand, sure, the earlier a person begins to take steps to increase their longevity, the more opportunity they have. It's sort of like investing, right? Uh, when is the best time to start saving for retirement? Probably the minute you start earning your first paycheck in your teens or 20s. Uh, but does that mean you shouldn't save money when you're older? No, it doesn't. Um, there's also... Um, uh, a lot of data that we have from uh, clinical trials that are done with seniors that demonstrate that, for example, people who have never lifted weights in their life before, who start lifting weights for the first time when they're in their 60s and 70s, have a remarkable benefit. This is not just true of weight training, it's true of any sort of exercise. So the, the short answer, I guess, is that no, it's never too late to really start thinking about this. Um, but obviously, the best time to plant the tree is yesterday, if not today. Why do they have a benefit if they haven't done it before? Well, you know, there's an effect of training, right? So spe specifically thinking of exercise, the body is really a use it or lose it organ uh, or collection of organs. And the muscles are a great example of that. So it's actually true of young people and old people. The greatest effect of exercise is generally seen in the person who goes from being completely sedentary to even a mild amount of training. So if you look at somebody like me who exercises all the time or someone like you who exercises all the time, if we added three hours a week to your training or to my training, it actually wouldn't have an enormous impact. If you took an individual who did zero exercise and you took them to three hours a week, which let's be honest, guys, 30 minutes a day, six days a week is not a huge ask. The impact is enormous. That's strange. That's not what you'd think. 
Um, can you talk about the importance of adding life to years rather than just years to life and what that means to you? Yeah, it means a lot to me. And I, I think it will mean a lot to people here. Um, because again, the, the metric that most people think of is life expectancy, right? How many times have you heard it? Life expectancy is increasing. Life expectancy is decreasing. And I think the reason for that is, is frankly, it's just the easiest thing to measure because it's, it's, it's objective, it's quantitative, and it's a single number, right? It's a number that shows up and it can be measured from a death certificate. We know exactly how many years to the day that a person lived. And if we keep track of that, we certainly know something about them. Um, but my argument would be that it is not the most important thing. And uh, again, I would challenge us to find an individual who would, if given the choice, and I don't think one ever has to make this choice, but for the purpose of the thought experiment, if you said, look, you could live to 80 in remarkable and perfect health, and then when your life is over, it ends very quickly and suddenly, versus you could live to 100, but you spend that last 20 years in a painful state of decline, I think very few people would choose the latter, even though they're living longer. Um, and I think what most people want is quality of life over quantity outside of these extreme examples, right? Which are common and tragic where people die and they're young. But, but I think, you know, when, when you really start to think about pushing those things, most people in my experience are more interested in quality of life. 